Burnett, pronounce your name correctly, and he's going to preside over um, this very special remembrance uh, that uh, has been put together by the Kiowa uh, Nation and um, all those who, who hold Juanita near and dear in their hearts. They put together a video with Juanita, so you're going to see a lot of great pictures. So could we, uh, could our audio and video... Uh, I'm Juanita Autumn, as you said. Juanita is all over my Autumn. Um, my father passed away when I was 18 years old. But I remember when he came back from Denver, uh, my mother was a very fine person. She just got some time with him. And he came and he was talking about this great uh, meeting that he went to. With all these tribal leaders, and uh, just really excited about uh, the activities, some of the uh, uh, problems, concerns of other tribes that were the same as ours. When I first came to uh, Washington, D.C., I was still in Dallas. We still were in Dallas. And like I said, Joe, you know, we were always trying to find funding for our operations. Came to uh, Washington, D.C., and went to NCI office. There were two staff people. Uh, the director was John Belindo. Uh, I think his name was Vernon Belindo. And uh, uh, Juanita uh, Echohawk was his assistant. Two people. And then later on, uh, uh, when I became active in NCI, Chuck Trimble was the executive director. And we have probably around eight people at the most, uh, as that people. And now, beautiful people just running all over the place, knowing what they're doing, you know, being very gracious to, uh, to our delegates and to our uh, conference attendees. So I'm just really proud of the group now. Can't say enough for them. I've served with uh, several uh, presidents. Veronica Murdoch, she was the first uh, uh, woman who was, was elected president of NCI. And she's the one that um, uh, encouraged us, when I say us, now I'm talking about the women, to assume our leadership roles. And she, you know, we're always back <coughs> behind you guys. We're making you feel good. You know, that's just kind of a, uh, I'm, in my tribe, you know, the women are not out in front, the cowboys. The men are not in front. The men are first, but the women are back here, you know. And uh, so she uh, reminded us that we had something to offer and that we need to go ahead and do a part. Things don't happen because I'm with, you know, cowboys sitting at home. Or good, whatever time you are, you know, uh, sitting there. It didn't happen. Somebody made it happen. Ooh. A group of people get together and they work together. They have common, common uh, uh, needs. And let's get together and let's find out how we're going to uh, provide for these needs. So, but uh, life has been good to me. Thank you. 
serving the tribal treasurer. And then I served on the election board of the Chicago tribe for many years. I to know what it's like for all of you to run this election and to know what it's all about. Now, and that he was taken over chairmanship of our Chicago tribal commission, election committee. But I want to say this prayer um, helping to each and every one of you to God to keep you in his hand and do whatever you can for your tribe, for your Indian people. I hold dog, kitty, and kitty, that dog, that they own it, they all make a big blood. Big dog, they got to a bar hole. They got to a big dog, they ain't. I'm sorry, they hung on top, they ate, they ate the gun on the gate. He told you, but he thought they told you. They only, I hope I don't get hate. That's all. Hate the ice cream. Got ego, daughter, dog. Ain't got soft, they get all they mom get caught. They ain't hot, they They hungry, I'm a tired young man. That's how I do it. That's all. But I don't want the time to go. I'm a dog for him. So I hope I don't get Jesus. Amen. Amen. NCAI, General Assembly, Chicago Trust, Chicago Tribal Elder Delegation, Chairman Kamalti, Vice Chair of the Tribal Legislators. and the rest of our college tribal members who have joined us here on stage, distinguished guests and visitors. Again, my name is Burnett Piwanowska. I'm an enrolled member of the Chicago Tribes. My Chicago name is Stronghold. I'm a descendant of Chief Lumbo. I come from the Tanadol family. My mother is Mary Lou Dogmaw. Walker, who is the daughter of James Dogmore, one of the founding charter members of the National Congress of American Indians. My mother was also the youngest sibling of Juanita Otto. It is with great sorrow that I stand before this General Assembly of the National Congress of American Indians to announce the passing of our Aunt Juanita. Aunt Juanita has been a charter member of the NCAI for over 46 years. Of those 46 years, she has attended every conference except for one. Last year, I had the honor of, and privilege to stand on the stage with Aunt Juanita as she was honored for her service. On a personal level, it was literally one of the biggest honors of my life. 40, 46 years of serving one organization is in itself an amazing feat. However, before I start bragging on my hand, I need to get one thing straight. If any of you get the opportunity to see Aunt Juanita before I do, just make sure you, you tell her that I wasn't up here to go to gloat about her. <laughs> because that's not what she would want us to do. It was just a few weeks ago when my sister's and brothers were at the doctor's office to get the results of her test. She, she turned, looked at my sisters, and told each one, of, each one of them in her stern, Aunt Juanita, raspy voice, I don't want any of you guys crying. So obviously they had to put their sniffles away and straighten up. So let's just make it clear. I won't stand up here and brag about how 46 years ago, 
a then 46 year old mother of eight would receive a letter in her mailbox inviting her to a conference in Denver, Colorado. She would be a little upset with me if I told you all that with $31 in her purse and a bus ticket in hand, she embarked on a journey that would impact Native people's lives, young, old, everyone in between, 46 years later. Well, that's not what Anthony would want. I'm not gonna stand up here and mention that she was a recipient of many awards for her work for the Native American communities. Not only on the local level, but the national level as well. I'm not gonna mention that because that's not what our auntie would want. I refuse to stand before this General Assembly and tell you folks that our auntie mama had the pleasure of meeting four presidents during her tenure with the NCAA. Oh, well, I banged up the fact that she has had the privilege to rub elbows with governors, con congressmen, senators, presented awards to the likes of Senator Elizabeth Warren, I also won't mention she even brushed aside Hillary Clinton once. Now, there's no way I'm gonna mention things like that to her about her <laughs> because that's not what she would want the family to do. I could stand up here literally for hours talking about how a simple person like Aunt Juanita <laughs> loves to visit with the younger generation, loves to teach our tribal language any, to anyone willing to learn it. But I won't, because that's not what our aunt would want. However, there are a few things she would probably wouldn't mind me telling you folks. Like the time she slugged a cardboard cut out of Trump. <laughs> clear the stage of all the big wigs so she can get to work. <laughs> but her favorite that she wouldn't mind me mentioning is the time she stood up here and swore in a newly elected chairman as Jennifer and not Jefferson. <laughs> yeah, she'd get a kick out of me mentioning those things, but I won't do that either. There is one thing that I know she would want the family to tell you while I'm standing up there, not bragging on you. And that's to tell each and every one of you, thank you. Thank you for making her 46 years service fun, exciting, and especially memorable. The NCAI, NCAA, the family would also like to thank the NCAI for caring for or Alameda over the years. She never thought of this experience with the NCAI as a job, something that she had to do. She felt it was something that she needed and wanted to do. Okay, now it's just, it's time for me to just go ahead and take the cracking out from her that I came here for. Aunt Juanita was a very traditional woman. <coughs> She was a lady of class, as you all very well know. She was a lady of dignity. You know that as well. But above all, and we all know this too, she loved her tribe, she loved her family, and especially she loved her church. One of her favorite sayings on somber times like this is it's God's will. So here I am standing in front of the assembly because it's God's will. On the day I found out she passed, I wrote on my Facebook page that sometimes people don't set out to make their life into a legacy. 
It just happened. Well, our Aunt Juanita not only made her life into a legacy, she turned herself into an icon. Juanita Dogmall was born July 7, 1928, to James W. Dogmall and Celia Longworth. Juanita attended Carnegie Public Schools and graduated from Haskell Indian Institute from the business department. She served as Miss Haskell in 1947. Her grandmother, Ida, Ida Wansi Wase, was her chaperone. Juanita's paternal grandparents were Barbara and Mamie Tokomo, and her, her, paternal, her maternal grandparents were Delos, Nose, Long Wolf, DK, and Ida Wansi Wase. Juanita married the late Vernon R. Otton in 1948 and was married 60 years. She worked at El Fina, El Phoenix restaurant, Mexican restaurant, Ty Taylor Publishing, American Indian Center in Dallas. They had six sons and two daughters. After her husband retired from the Dallas Department, Dallas Police Department, they returned home to Carnegie, Oklahoma. She served as a Kiowa Tribe Secretary, served on the Kiowa Business Committee for three terms, and has been active for the National Congress of American Indians for 46 years. She was inspirational in opening of the Dallas Indian United Methodist Church, the Dallas Fort Worth Intertribal Power Club. She was also the executive director of the American Indian Center and was a member of the Dallas Indian Bowling League. <laughs> she was currently serving as an elder language mentor for the Kiowa Language and Culture, Culture Revitalization Program. She is survived by her children, Vernon Sai Otton of Elgin, Oklahoma, Betsy Otton Cummings of Grand Prairie, Texas, Benita Alice Otton of Carnegie, Oklahoma, Vaughn K. Otton of Apache, Oklahoma, and Paul Dogmo of Oklahoma City, Oklahoma. She is also survived by her brother, Ronald Dawes Tuhatchet of Lawton, Oklahoma. She has 20 grandchildren, 44 great-grandchildren, five great-great-grandchildren. She is preceded in death by her parents, James W. Dogmore and Celia Lombard, her sons, Victor, Buddy Otto, Vance Allen Otto, Vincent G. Otto, Virgil Otto, grandchild, George M. Talbert, great, great grandchildren, Christopher Otto, Lula Otto, Long Hat, Titus Moore, brothers, James Dogmore and Art Dogmore, sisters, Mamie Bohe, Vina Beaver, Ida Landy, Mary Lou Dogmall Walker and Charlotte Ann Dogmall. <clears throat> In closing, I'd like to share a little personal story with you today. And this has always stayed close to my heart. My mother, who passed 14 years ago, was laying in her bed at home. We only thought that her time come to pass was approaching the past. We had many family members crammed in her bedroom, and as the nurse was watching her vitals, Aunt Juanita asked us all to hold hands. And if you would please, if you have a hand next to you, please hold hands for us, please. And 
complete oneness. She asked us all to hold hands. And she said this, Our Father, We have a, a, a little gift for, um, uh, for you and the family. Um, we all um, are, are heavy hearts. Thank you. Thank you a lot. Um, she, she affected all of us. Thank you for me. Oh, yeah. Um, so she was here when I first started showing up in 1978, 77, I think it was. And uh, she was here. So, you know, she's been here every time. And uh, so, anyhow, for, on behalf of NCI, we have a, a small gift. Uh, from the NCAI, I'm going to have Juanita uh, Juana help me work. Yeah. <laughs> we trust that this is uh, in behalf of uh, you and the whole family, all, all the members of, of the Kiowa Nation. Um, you, lent her, you lent her to us for 46 years. Um, she will always be in our hearts. She will always be in the hearts of NCI. <coughs> and, and uh, you know, uh, if you, we, we will always move forward um, with the spirit of one year of Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And, and the family also has uh, some gifts for uh, for some some members of the NCAI that, that have been there and helped her throughout the uh, tenure for many, many years. Uh, if I could have Sandy Brown come up, please. Sandy has, has, Sandy and Ron have been a very vital part of Family Needless Life, and, and the family just wants to thank you for everything that you, you've done for us. We also have a gift for Ron Brown, her husband.
the, the Kiowa legislators would also like to give a gift to Juana Dixon. Thank you. I, I, I apologize. I, I forgot. I, I would also like to ask our chairman to come up and say some words uh, for the tribe before we go into the uh, uh, prayers. Thank you. I'm Matthew Kamalji, chairman of the tribe. CAI for allowing us to share a loss with, with us and to uh, say thank you for all those years that you've had Miss Juanita. She was many things to many people. She was a treasure to us. You guys, NCAI had her two or three times a year. We had her every day. That was, that was something that, that we cherished seeing her and, and the rest of our elders for us. Miss Juanita was something special. She was our mentor, she was our teacher, a friend, a mother, an aunt, and sometimes a nuisance. <laughs> but 
and she was ours, and she was ours, and she was there every day. So, and with a sad heart, I sit up here and say thank you to the NCAI and everybody that knew her and everybody that took care of her. I thank you for the bottom of my heart, my hope. Excuse me, I forgot one thing. There will be a scholarship um, provided to the NCAI and her thousand dollars for a deserving college student at the end of the year. Oh. Um, and on behalf of Ms. Bonilla, so, that was she was gone. And as a creator, she will not be missed. Her legacy will always be here. Thank you. Again, thank you guys very much for taking care of our auntie. Because I promise you, we was mad at her for leaving sometimes. <laughs> she was she was not going to miss NCAI. <laughs> but we knew that she was in good hands. So that made us feel much, much better. So on behalf of the family, I thank you guys. Everyone, executive. She, she, she is smiling so proud right now from up above to see all her brothers and sisters and kids up here on this stage. I promise you this is, this is such a joyous time for all of us, for all of us. It's, it's, it's something that we'll never forget. Uh, this is what she wanted to see. She wanted to see this stage full of coddles. <laughs> and she got it. <laughs> I, um, I wish she would have done about it the way she did, but we're okay with that. We're okay with that. At this time, I will ask our legislator, speak, the speaker for the legislators, Marilyn Bread to give us our final prayer. I want to acknowledge our legislators that is here for standing behind me and give them a moment to say their name and their district because Anita was so proud of our new constitution and she was trying to come. She even got a permanent she got her medic, Manny, and pedicure. <laughs> she said, I'll be there, and you better be there. So I know she's here with us in spirit. And I am Marilyn Bread, member of the full blood member of the Coyote tribe from District 3, Medicine Bluff. No, I don't. That medicine means our prayers. And I know she's here with me because she was my mentor, lifelong mentor. After she stepped out for the secretarial role, she dug me in there and she left me there. <laughs> so I know she's here with me now. Oh. Good afternoon. My name is Modina Waters. I am the legislator for District 7. I'm going to miss Aunt Juanita because she started to become my traveling partner. We would go to different locations and she'd keep me away. We would talk about a lot of things, family, the history of the Kiowa tribe, and it was never an adult moment with her, so I will miss her greatly. My, my name has been Yusara Obeka Wood, and my Kiowa name, Onko She's my aunt and my cousin on, my, on both my grandparents' side. And so you are going to miss her. And she was always encouraging, always encouraging and wanting us as uh, younger people to be involved with our tribe and to help our people and to do the right things for our people. So I know, you know, she was a, a blessing to all of us.
My name is Jesse Sweeto. I'm from the District Court Legislator for Jimmy Creek. Um, I know it's uh, pretty hard for our families to come together on this, but you know, I was just elected almost a year ago. And uh, of course, Juanita had a you know, big push of, for my political awareness, you know, getting the younger generation involved. And you know, me being here is a direct result of her. Always falling apart. Do you, are you registered? Are you ready to go? I didn't know things were coming you know, this rapidly as far as I don't know. She made sure that I was registered and ready to go two weeks prior to this, and then four weeks prior to that. I want to say thank y'all for letting me be here and be part of the CCI that she most graciously made me really become. <coughs> and um, living through honoring us, one of the things that she had done, you know, the election commission, we were fortunately involved here because of that. So I just want to say I hope that thank you. I want to appreciate our elders being here too. Hello everyone. My name is Mike Primus. Michael Primus, I'll come. I'm the sole tone Carney District 2 legislator. That's where our headquarters is. <clears throat> I had the opportunity to work with Juanita about two years in our language program. She was my biggest supporter. Legislator for Anadarko District 1, uh, Alcala, and uh, Grandma Juanita. Uh, she's been an inspiration to me since I was three years old. I, I grew up in Washington State, but I'm Kyle, but um, my dad brought me to meet her at, at a conference there. She was in Spokane, and, and I've always remembered her in that way, you know, um, always attending things. And, I was elected uh, in 2018 and went to the NCI last year. As, and I just sat back as an observer. I wanted to see how everything runs. You know, I've always heard about the conferences. And uh, this year, I participated a lot more. Um, I, I, I made it a point to come out here early to get here because I knew in her heart she had already had her bags packed, even though she knew she was sick. She was hurting. She she was ready to come here. She wanted to be here. And her funeral was Monday, but because of my health, I wanted to make sure I had plenty of time to be here. So, so I came out here just because in her spirit, you know, she she was already here. And I'm gonna miss her so much, and I appreciate it. Everyone making this her home, her second home, and and uh, keeping her, you know her name and everybody smiles this this week and and uh, it's you know she she's always been an inspiration and she's she's come to our meetings and really uh, even though she wasn't feeling well she she was there up until last month I, I knew something was not well with you know her health but she wanted to sit there and listen informed of what was going on with our tribe and and she you know just had it in her heart so I, I want to carry that that on in the future as long as I can and I appreciate everybody that's taken care of us to, to be here and our elders to get here um, safely and I hope everyone has a safe trip home and return to your home the way you know you left it so thank you My name is Anita Johnson, and I'm uh, 
legislative for district five, which member district um, this past year I happened to uh, take a small trip with uh, Aunt Juanita and we went to Wichita and we were Wichita, Kansas and we were roommates and just a little funny story and so we were sitting there having our little pajama party and and she got up and she walked to some jewelry that she had and she pulled out this pen and uh, she gave it to me. She said, here, I want you to have this. And it was a NCAI pen, an older pen that she had. She said, we used to have these. Uh, these were the original pens that we used to have. And, and I said, oh my, you're gonna give this to me? And she said, yes, I want you to have it. So she gave it to me and I didn't even bring it to wear it. Uh, I keep it uh, put up because uh, it's the one of my keepsakes. But she honored me with that, and I, I was really appreciative of that. Uh, I always appreciated my conversations with her. And, uh, one of the things that uh, she always made me uh, ashamed because uh, I would go up to the elder center where she was uh, like five days every week, and uh, she would get, she would say, what do you want to drink? And I said, Aunt Juanita, don't, don't wait on me. And she would always try to get me something to drink or take my plate after I ate. And uh, I wouldn't want her to do that, but she would insist on getting my plate and throwing it away or getting me something more to eat. And I just felt like she didn't, I mean, I didn't want her to wait on me like that because, you know, she's my honored elder and I didn't want her to do that for me, but I always appreciated her and her her, uh, her graciousness and always being there for advice and I am truly gonna miss her. In our Kiowa way, we always say that they fun they they don't. We're all related. Truly, Juanita brought us into the circle of NCAI and made us all relatives. We will take you with us in prayer wherever we go, and we will try to replace her shoes with our small leadership that we will extend to you in advice and in help in keeping with her beautiful memory of wisdom and leadership. May we pray. We give you thanks and praise this day, Almighty Father in heaven, for being with us at this very special occasion when we give honor to one of your daughters who has made her mark in our lives She's left big shoes to fill, but with your help, we'll do our best. We ask that your spirit, beg on time, thou can he, would come and abide with each member here that loved her and cared for her, that looked forward to seeing her here. And for all the young and up and coming leaders, we bless you with her wisdom, with her patience, with her drive and ambition, especially our incoming president. We ask Almighty God for blessings upon our outgoing president and all the officers for their dedicated service and their love. May you give them help. May you give them blessings. And all the new leaders who came here with a hope and a prayer for an answer. May NCAI continue to be strong and may it speak and be our voice on the hill to an administration, Father, that will answer our prayers. For we ask this in your son's name. We thank you, God, for this moment. May we love each other like she loved us, and may we go forward from here better people. In your son's name we pray and ask. Aho. Thank you.
very much, NCAI. I hope.